Now we're going to create the sales page in Thrivecart, but just because this is bothering me, we are going to change this image. So I'm just gonna click on it, and then here I can go and upload my logo. So I'm gonna do that, and that just looks a little bit better. Okay, so we are going to go into edit here, and this is under products here. Then I'm going to go to checkout because we just finished fulfillment. So now we're going to do checkout. So we are going to create a sales page. Now there is a standard sales page, a sales cart, which is just the checkout portion. There's one that you can embed into a website. So if you want to embed it into a blog post, you can do that. Or you can also create a pop-up as well. So we're going to start with a standard and then we're going to hit next. And then we're going to launch the editor. Now, if you wanna go even deeper into Thrivecart, I have a free course that walks you through Thrivecart, setting up Thrivecart, all the ins and outs of Thrivecart. It's a over the shoulder type of view where you can see exactly what I'm doing click by click. And I also have modules on things like pricing a course, how to come up with your course topic, how to market a course, how to get beta testers in a course. It goes to the ins and outs of setting up a course, launching a course. And like I said, it is completely free. So definitely check it out down below in the description and I do want to say if you don't have Thrivecart yet I have a link for 50% off of Thrivecart lifetime access which is amazing about Thrivecart there's other course platforms where you have to pay monthly or annual but with Thrivecart it's lifetime access and I have a link for 50% off I do receive a small commission if you use my link but like I said you get the 50% off discount for using the link and you help support me and my family and so I can continue creating free videos like this for you and free courses like the one down below in the description so check it out, check out the course and check out Thrivecart if you have not already. This looks a little confusing, but you can do a lot with this and you can really customize it. And it's, it's a great option for creating a sales page. If you don't want to do something like lead pages, if you want to do lead pages, you can totally do lead pages and just embed it your form. Or if you want to create everything in Thrivecart, you can do that as well. First thing that we're going to do, and this is this is all drag and drop here on the right. So we have all the drag and drop features over here. And then over on the left is some of the formatting for each option. So I'm going to start by adding a header. And with this, you can then change the font size, the font space, the lettering, the color text, all of that. I'm going to grab a hex code here from Canva and put in my hex code. So now it's that same now i also want to we can change the font if we want to we can do a lowercase capitalize uppercase i'm just going to do capitalize and we can also center it and i do want to make it a little bit bigger how to create and sell online courses with thrivecart and you can also do that where you can make it on as many lines as you want. Then you can add your subheading. So I can do um, over the shoulder and this I want to center as well. All right, then we can add an image, we can add a testimonial, we can add a divider, bullet points, countdown timer, buy link, all these different things. So I want to go through and just kind of add each one and show you what it's gonna look like. So we can cart, add the cart steps here. So this is the customer and payment. So first thing they're gonna see is this one-time payment. This is the different payment options that they have. And then we can also add the, the bump offer here as well for them to toggle on and off. Let's add product info box. And you can move these things around. So how to sell courses with Thrivecart and then you can upload images. We're going to go down at the bottom where it says upload image and add my logo. Now these are ones that will be added to your library here. These are all images from my other course, Room and Profitable. So you can add them once and then they're there for you, which is really great. So we're going to add that there and then we're gonna scroll down and hit use image. So now it's there on the side there. Next heading we did, subheading we did. Next we can add some text. And this is just a basic text box that says, um, here is why you should buy my course. 
and then I can put bullet points if I want. Learning a new and this course is for you. Okay, so we can do that. We can also adjust the font size here. So you can do that as well. All right, so that was um, text. Then we can do image. So here I can add in an image library. So here's one that I added before. Um, so who's behind Dream of Profit? So this is one with a, like a little bio that I have. Then you can add video as well. So if you want to have a video, you can do that. And there's different options where you can have some text next to the video on the right, the left. You can do two videos back to back. This is really great for testimonials if you want to do that. Or you can have video and text below, which is awesome. This is a really great feature to have. Next, we can do a testimonial. And so you can put the text there. Then you can upload a photo. So let's say that that's my photo. And then happy customer. This course helped me launch in just two weeks and make my first sale. So that is what our happy customer is saying. And then we can change the font size as well. And you can change the text color if you want. Next is divider. So we can add a little divider if we want and we can change the size, we can change the color. So if you wanna do red, whatever you want there. Next, we can add bullet points. So this is just talking bullet points. You can do this under text as well, like we did that here under text, but this is just another option if you wanna do it right, just direct bullet points. Next is countdown timer. This is really cool. So this one you drop at the top and you can do last chance to buy. And then you're going to put how many days left. So I can do four days, two hours and five minutes. Now, when the timer resets, you can do a reset. So if you want to say, or even if you want to do zero days, you want to have them have like five minutes to really have that urgency, then you can do that. So they think that this is the last chance to buy and this is the urgent time to buy it. You can do that and then it's just going to reset the timer or you can take them to a, another page or you can replace the cart with a message. You can do that as well. So this is a really cool option just to really have that urgency of, hey, this is last chance to buy. Let's do it now. Or you can do sale ends tonight or whatever, whatever you want. All right, that was count time. So then we're going to do buy link. So let's do a buy link up here. Now, the buy links are going to redirect them down to this cart. So I like to place a couple buy links throughout the sales page. And that way, when it, they click on it, it's going to redirect them down to the bottom. So I like to honestly do one pretty close to the top that says, yes, I'm in. Or something like that. Yes, I need this. And for this, you can also customize it. So you can have limited icons where you can do the PayPal, the Visa, all that, or you can have no payment icons there. You can also change the color. You can change the text size, the, the padding, all of that, the radius. If you want it more rounded or square, you can do that as well. And like I said, I like to have these throughout the sales page and they're all gonna direct down to the bottom. All right, next is a guarantee seal. So this is great for a money back guarantee. You can do that, um, full refund guarantee money back. They have a whole bunch of options that you have. Um, you can put that it's secure, 30, back, 30 day trusted seller, all of these different options. I'm gonna put trusted seller and then I'm gonna hit use image and it just puts it right there for us. Then next thing we can do is FAQs. And FAQ, we can put the different options here. And these are cool, we can do join together or separate. And then you're gonna hit set up FAQ and you're going to type your question. So you can say, um, how long will I have access to the course? 
and the question is you will have lifetime access you can add another question um next question is um who do i contact if i put your email there all right and then you can add more faqs but this is how it's going to look with it so they can see the questions there and then if they click on them they can see the answers which is really cool you can also save this as a preset so save a widget preset so you could do faq preset and so if you want to use this on other courses then you can do that as well which is awesome all right next is html so if you want to embed some code here you can do that as well some people that I've seen use the countdown timer with deadline funnel instead of using the one that's in here because the deadline funnel one is a little bit more advanced and it has the cookie tracking. So it'll track that individual person with the cookie that way. So you can do that and you can just enter your code or you can not use it if you don't have anything with code as well. So it's totally an option. And you can also do columns as well. So if you want to do columns and say you want three or four columns, however many columns you want, and then you can add different items into the columns. So we can do this. We're going to add this logo as option one, and then maybe a testimonial in option two. We can do that. So you can have or three different testimonials if you want them side by side. That's a really cool option as well, rather than having them stacked where then it makes the sales page really long. But you can have them horizontally if you want as well under the comment under the content structure, which is awesome. Then this is the pricing option. So we can see the one time payment. We can do split pay or five times there, and they can see the total option there. So this, they're gonna get their, um, the course that they're purchasing. And then also this is the bump right there for the total of $206. Now we can adjust this color as well. If you wanna keep branding across the board, which is what I like to do, keep it consistent branding. And then we can do a um, shot, uh, show buy now, pay later option as well with after pay or firm. And we can also add images if you want, and you can make them bigger or smaller. This you can do for a logo, or you can do make something on Canva that says, um, you know, save $200 by buying now, or you can do, um, get started today for $49, something like that. And that is awesome. So then we're going to hit next and then it's going to bring you to the success page so they can view their invoice here. And then we can also hide the Thrivecart footing logo. Now this is something that they're going to warn you against because honestly it's their platform and they want their logos on it. But they're saying that, you know, if you disable it, then it doesn't show the authority of Thrivecart and Thrivecart kind of, you know, it's a trusted name and brand. So you can do that if you want. So we can do your purchases. You can also add extra text box here that says, check your email for next steps or thank you for enrolling. You can also add any of those things up here as well. So we can add a testimonial that says, welcome to how to create and so highlight this and center it so we can do that as well to create that you can add images of video or you can do a quick little video that says hey this is this is what the course is going to be like or see you in the group or whatever it may be or faq you can add here as well and now if you have an element that you added whether it be to the success page or the checkout page and you don't want it what you can do is just hover over it and you can either duplicate it if you want or you can delete it. And so we can delete element and delete element. And then we're gonna hit complete. Now, if you ever need to adjust your sales page or anything like that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to products and then you're gonna go to checkout and design and then launch editor. And it's gonna bring you right back to this page here. And then you can just hit save changes and then you can hit exit um, and we, we already saved. It always does this. If you save first, then you're good. But I'm going to do exit without saving. Now, if you want to learn how to build your course in Thrivecart step-by-step, -step, what to do, I have a full walkthrough. Let's watch that video now. Oh.